Well, I'm Paul Durish. I'm a professor in the informatics department in the Brown School. And really, in many of the ways the program came together was through the involvement of, of our own undergraduate students who really did a lot of the hands-on stuff, but a lot of the design work behind the scenes as well, putting the curriculum together, giving it a way to a framing and a focus that would really sort of engage with the, with the girls in the summer camp. Girls Inc. is a non-profit organization inspiring girls to be strong, smart, and bold. And mm -hmm. one of those, um, one aspect of that is in, in, is encouraging girls to get involved in science, technology, and engineering, and math, the, um, the fields that are traditionally, you know, that girls, especially this age, shy away from and think that, you know, boys might be better at them or, or it's not something that girls should do. So they especially try to, um, to show girls how exciting science and engineering and technology and math are. Um, and get them interested in these careers, and, and um, that's one thing we're trying to do with this workshop. I've been volunteering for Girls Inc. for a couple years, since pretty much the entire time that I've been at UC Irvine, I've been volunteering for, um, for their various activities. When I found out about Eureka, I was really excited about, about the summer camp and um, offered to help design the curriculum. So the informatics professor, Jillian Hayes, and I have been working together to um, to design a curriculum for this workshop and, and run it. So we, we decided on the Pico Cricket Kits because we, we thought they'd be a great way to get girls excited about engineering and technology. Pico Cricket Kits come with little devices that you can program and you can write your own software and plug in the devices and make them run and you can basically make them do whatever you want. So it's a really easy way for girls to learn what programming is all about and um, to make um, little motors and make things spin and make things light up and they can be very creative and create whatever they want. It's been really fun working with these girls and it, it's been great to see the, the creative things that they come up with and how much fun they have. I'm Katie Wilson, I'm a freshman at Braille Linda High School. I'm Kate Lee at Braille Linda High School, I'm just going to be a senior this year. We help out the girls with their projects and we make sure everything goes smoothly, that the Pico Crickets are working right. Yeah, it's been lots of fun helping the girls, they're all really great. Yeah, they're interesting, like just to see them, like how like creative they are. <laughs> Well, they were really enthused. I think, as is not uncommon in these cases, they were a little um, uh, hesitant at first and weren't quite sure what the, what this would mean. And especially, I think, you know, people have this sense that computer science means sitting in a darkened room with a terminal, some computer somewhere, you know, writing code. We tried to make it something that was really going to be very different from that. It seemed to be very successful. My goal has been to share my passion with these girls and to try to um, show them how, how fun programming can be and how fun engineering can be. It's been rewarding to work with these girls and to see how much they're, um, they're learning and how much they're growing and, and learning to work in teams and, and learning this technology. And, and to see these girls get excited about this and to see them you know, put something together that works and, and light up. So it's been sort of fun to work with Jillian on this and um, be able to um, be a mentor myself and, um, and uh, pass that down to these girls.